terror on Canada's Parliament Hill. Guys, there is a shooter on the loose. 9.52 a.m., shots ring out at the war memorial. The victim, a Canadian soldier standing guard at the site. A guy came from the side on, on my left-hand side and uh, came out with a rifle and uh, shot at the man and... Uh, um, then the guy went fa falling down. From the scene, police received multiple 911 calls. Well, we were working on the statue and I uh, heard a bunch of pops. I thought it was just firecrackers going off. Uh, so I look across the street and there was a man with uh, a rifle shooting at a bunch of people. And all of a sudden just heard a shot, turned around, and there was a guy with a rifle just around on the back corner and just pow. Moments later, around 10 a.m., shots fired inside the Parliament building, just a few hundred yards away. No, 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 no. Police scramble. A second round of shooting follows a minute later. Lawmakers inside the building huddle in a caucus room, where they pile up chairs against the door to barricade themselves in. Police rush others outside to safety. Hear this pop, 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 possibly 10 shots, don't really know. Thought it was dynamite rather than, or construction rather than anything else. Suddenly the security guards come uh, rushing down the hallways, usher us all out to the back of the parliament uh, buildings. In the chaos, a hero, the parliament's sergeant at arms, shooting down an armed suspect. Shortly after 1 p.m., confirmation the Canadian soldier shot at the war memorial is dead. An hour later, Canadian police announce a suspected shooter, a male, is also dead. Police, however, still unsure whether another gunman remains on the loose. We're still investigating the active operation. Uh, we're in the process right now with the RCMP in uh, clearing and securing uh, Parliament Hill, and that's a, a slow methodical approach. And tonight, Canada's capital, Ottawa, is still on alert. Just a week ago, a Canadian claiming to be with ISIS, Abu Khalid al Kanadi. The Canadian posted this message on Twitter. Yes, my message is clear. Canada initiated attacks on the Islamic State, that is, taking part in the U.S.-led coalition against ISIS. So Muslims in Canada, retaliate and kill them wherever you find them. Now, just two days ago, a suspect known to be consuming ISIS propaganda drove his car into a Canadian soldier, killing him. Today's attack has no confirmed connection to Islamic extremism, but it is a style of lone wolf attack that concerns officials both in Canada and here in the U.S. And, Wolf, you'll remember yesterday when I spoke to the former director of the National Counterterrorism Center, Matt Olson, he said the most likely attack that he's concerned about taking place in the U.S. is lone wolf attacks just like that.